Hello YouTube, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the mouse animation feature in your application using C Sharp. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to use this on a button click event. So let's go ahead and add a button to our application. Can increase the size of that button. Then change the name of the button to maybe register. Or, or anyone you want you can change this to button register or the name of the button adjust as you'd like so button register and then we change the back color click on the web tab scroll down to Tokwa this right here then we'll come we we'll scroll down here click on the flat style change it to flat as we can see and then change this border size to zero which means the bot is not going to have any outline just as you had seen as, just as you see it here you can change the four color which is the text color to white then make it bold to make it more visible click ok so that's it so what we are actually looking to achieve is this when this button is clicked and then you can see we need something like we need something like this or any other set of this type maybe the weight cursor just as you'd like but we need to use it really we want, what we want to do is when the button is clicked and then that event comes up so what we are going to do is to create a timer of which will be the duration that the animation is going to run so interval is going to be 1000 which is one second but let's just change it to 3000 which is 3 seconds change this to timer anime just as you'd like and then enable it make it true and then you double click on the button to raise the event and then double click on the timer to also raise the event of the timer for the timer and then next we will write cursor yes equals cursors dot weight cursor that cursor I showed you this right here yes the weight cursor so that's what's going to be showing dot weight cursor and then we start the timer of this anime timer here so timer anime dot start okay and then when this timer starts it's going to run through until it stops and then after it stops and then after it stops then the cursor will change back to normal which is cursor equals cursors dot default just as we saw before which means well let me analyze the code again when when the button is clicked the cursor changes to the weight cursor and then the timer runs for about three seconds then when that three seconds expires then the cursor will be back to normal so let's go ahead and run this application and see how it works so this is the application here if we click register as we can see the weight cursor just showed yes and then the timer is back 
just as we just as we're seeing it so if we change this change the time for the timer if we increase the interval which is this right here to let's say 10,000 which is 10 seconds then we will run the application so let's see how it works so it runs for about 10 seconds and then when the timer stops it's back to normal so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe for more awesome tutorials and i'll see you next time bye